the immortal one, a strong female lead, and all the man service you can ask for. There is a reason why this show has such a broad female fan base, and they are not disappointed. Ladies and gentlemen, it is I, Master Sill, of the Master Knights of the Round Table, Company One, and I'm here with the Golden Conway video. Now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, you are seeing me in rare form, just not a good form. Because right now, hungover is a motherfucker. I'm sick. I feel terrible. I got drunk as hell last night. I spent this whole morning throwing up. I'm hungover as fuck still. And I'm hurt. So, yeah. But that being said, I have originally planned, because I was recommended to watch the OVAs that go to comedy that I didn't even know about. And throw all of that to one big going to comedy review. Also, a short, didn't do that, but too busy yesterday, fucked up. So, yeah. There you go. Had a lot of stuff to handle today, so this video is late. But I wanted to make sure I give y'all this video at this time, on this Monday, the day the episode came out, like I said I would. So, here I am. Master Zill. Alright, now. Go to comedy, episode 1 and 2. Season 2, episode 1 and 2. Matter of fact, episode 25 and 26. Here's the deal. Go to Conway. Just going to the first episode did not waste no time giving you that Golden Conway feel, that Golden Conway greatness that we recognize straight in the beginning. And you know what it was? You really want to know what it was? Everybody already know. But I'm the one who's just saying, which is a good word. That's when Silly Mother hold up that freaking picture. <laughs> he started saying, This is Ashifa. He's like, No, it's not. Oh, the wrong photo. That was it. That was it. That was the moment that just brought it all back. <laughs> Straight up. It wasn't me. Wasn't me. Mm -hmm. That moment right there just defined what it called me. And this episode, we just did the rest. <laughs> you know, the first part of the episode, we're going through the motions, getting back into things, and then the whole thing with the single. I think I hope I'm saying that fight right. I hope I'm saying that fight right. <laughs> uh, Straight up. Men brawling. These Japanese men all up in that ass. Straight up. Gangsta shit. Now, I think it's universal at this point, at least on my channel, that everything's a JoJo reference and everything else. So I shouldn't have to say it a bunch of times, but you got to be freaking When damn Sugimoto lost his freaking mind because he got hit in the head too many times, went on that immortal Sugimoto rampage, died. Have not seen in quite some time. That when that happened, that felt like a nostalgia rush, low key. <laughs> I thought that took me back. That took some years back. That put some years back on my life. <laughs> but anyways, straight up, he was throwing those hands on the. And he didn't even start it. It was the dude with the tattoo. I forgot his name. He only said it once the whole episode. So leave it alone. He was. He did that stuff at first because. He, he, he didn't hit that usual star platinum type shit. That was some the world's the world of deal type shit. When he was telling that, no way, no way, no way. And then he, he was saying that, he said like, you know, that whole look at me thing kind of thing. He was mad at Tsukimoto. And then that bass guy to his voice, that grown man starting to enter back and them pats on the back started becoming hands and shit. And he was going in. He started. He started. You can't blame the man cast for that one. Mm -hmm. You don't like JoJo? Blame the... <laughs> But anyways, man, uh, episode also featured one of the top characters in anime history, the Escape King. <laughs> I like how that, flip, how that flip was. The second they talking about Ashifer again, the first person that was brought up was the Escape King. If you, if, you, if you think about it, yes, it's the main duo of the Immortal Sugimoto and the, and the Anu girl, Ashifer. Even from the beginning, the Escape King, Shiarashi, I forgot his name. I keep getting him mixed up with the guy from Tokyo Ghoul. Cool. Shirashi. We're going to go for that. Um, that's basically been three trios throughout the whole series. Like, when he show up, episode two, like, he did go and call me. He, he's always there. For me, anyways. It's a trio, not a duo. Sorry. I know people don't like him for some strange reason. But there you go. Ah, oh, man. But quite frankly, uh, the home squad we got going on right now. Especially, yeah, I like that part in the, when it was in the sinker, right? And <laughs> they took out everybody but the dude. But this is a tattoo dude that loves going to prison and all that stuff. And the big bull himself. 
<laughs> was a guy trying to hold him down in prison. They talk about what well, they probably gave him some woman to do that. Let's not let's not forget that guy that had that, that hotel episode. My homeboy was just exercising the whole time. We were trying to get in that ass. Not saying that they just doomed some woman. Not saying that would happen. But if it did, it would have worked. <laughs> That's a test, yeah, dude. That's. I can't even say that because this episode had all the dudes naked. No, that was just a flashback to the sumo wrestling part. We're, even though homeboy right afterwards got some ass. Where is Ikamak? Anyways, that's just a flash right to that. Hey, if I got some rest of the dude, you got some immediate ass right afterwards. Could have been not single anymore, so I can't say that. But can I say that? Anyway, so when it came to that, straight up, the man service and going to combo is really not new. I mean, they, they don't do that a lot. They kind of like some Fire Force type shit, really. You see it a lot. These are big buff dudes running around all the time. <laughs> Bigger difference is going to Conway and Fire Force. Fire Force at least has another woman in there to balance it out. Going to Conway, not so much. The biggest girl you have in your face is Ashifa, and she's a child. The other girl running around is a child. You have Incomet, and she gave you a sex scene, kinda. So what else can you expect from that one? So there you go. Unless they introduce some new characters, everything else is going to be mad server. But you know, this did kind of set it up, didn't it? This did kind of set it up, didn't it? I don't know what happened in Going to Comedy. I don't know. And I don't even know if the chapters that we're watching, that we're reading, this coming into examining right now is even out to even reread. But, bro, bro, I'm telling you right now, there's going to be that female character that walks around. We're going to remember this moment where all this mad service will happen. It's going to balance out in some kind of way. It's going to balance in some kind of way. And normally when we got that in Going to Comedy, something followed up with it anyways. We got the girl at the hotel everybody was trying to sleep with. We got Ink and Matt fucking homeboy. If, when this happens, something else happens. Keep your eyes open. Keep your eyes open. Anyways, uh, drawing blanks more than usual because I got a giant headache, like I said, I'm hungover as hell. But man, <laughs> ah, crap. <laughs> that whole thing when, you know, Susan was over. He had all that anger fucked up at him inside, but he was mad at himself. Yeah, he basically he say he's useless. As if it's his fault this happened or something. <laughs> That's something because I hate to be this guy, but I suppose was really doing just fine. Because the second after the, <laughs> end of the episode, she was just doing her you normal self. Is it him? Because your face is fat. What you think? <laughs> hmm. Go out there eating, open ass, from the jump on the boat. Normal Ashley for stuff. She's not. She'd be better with us. <laughs> well, the problem is I can't like say she's in good hands because the other guy, he was always shifty as hell. Because Shirashi, you can't trust him because escape can't have an ass. I forgot about the other nigga. So, she's fine, but not in good hands. So, you know, we're going to have to go ahead and, speaking of hands, that fight though? <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, man, going to comedy's back and going to comedy fashion. Now, it, I, this legitimately feels like we never even left off. The biggest difference between this and the last in season two, quite frankly, well, technically this is season three. Season two and season three is the gap in between. Plus, they had to write more material for it. They, Geno's wasted no time. So, Jen said Geno's got the chance to do something. Somebody they was going to do something with this. It's Geno's baby right here, y'all. I know Geno's has other shows. I know the first big show they hit us with was Coco Roo, which was damn, but it was Coco Koo. Excuse me. Coco Roo. What, Kangaroo type shit? Coco Koo, which was a damn good show. Fake the right part? I remember. But, Go to comedy. Go to comedy. Jealous, there you go. Like I said, I can't really say I need a season four because I don't know how much material there is, but don't ever stop. All right, man, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm standing up doing this video, I'm getting woozy. So there you go. If you watch this video, leave my comment, I know what you think. Like this video for me, and I'll see y'all. Peace out. Sorry if this video felt subpar, but I wanted to give y'all something. There you go.